My beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're talking about this new lipstick from elf these are the O face satin lipsticks they're priced at nine US dollars a piece which is pretty steep for elf but I do have to admit that the packaging feels very upgraded so I'll talk about that a little bit more when we take a close-up look at these lipsticks I purchased these myself from the elf website and when I bought them there were only 10 shades available so I bought six out of ten and I felt like you know that's a pretty decent sample size especially considering that that's over fifty dollars worth of lipsticks but when I went back today to confirm the pricing and just sort of freshen up on the info about these lipsticks I saw that they've now added 10 new shades so there are 20 shades available in this line my six shades now don't feel like as great of a sample size anymore but it's definitely enough to compare some similar shades because when I purchased they were pretty much all neutral so I have a lot of different types of neutral nude lip colors here. So I hope that seeing these six shades together will still be pretty helpful and I'll be able to show you lip swatches and also give you a review on this formula. I've been able to test these out for a few days and I've worn a couple different shades so I feel pretty confident reviewing these for you from a formula standpoint as well. Before we get into the lip swatches I want to give you a close-up look at this packaging. It's definitely very upgraded for e.l.f. and I have to say it's not lost on me that these are called O-Face and they have a very NARS-esque type of packaging. I don't think that's a coincidence. Just saying. These are in a square packaging. They do have the soft touch matte finish, just like you would see on most NARS products. This packaging has a nice heft to it. It does feel a lot more weighty than I was expecting from an e.l.f. product. And check this out. The lid is magnetic. I think this magnetic packaging is so satisfying. And then of course you just twist up and what do you know the little elf logo is stamped right there. Just for reference I wanted to show you one of these elf lipsticks next to a NARS Audacious lipstick. Now there are quite a few differences. I do think there are enough differences here that this could be considered inspired. On the spectrum of inspired to rip off it's a lot closer to inspired. The tubes are not the same size. They are the same shape and finish. And the logo is very different. The NARS one wraps around. The e.l.f. one is just stamped on one side. Color-coded stickers are pretty common, so I don't really think that's too relevant, but I just want to show you anyway. The NARS lipstick does not have a magnetic closure. It is a clip close. So that's a big packaging difference. And then they both have the logo stamped into the bullet here when you twist up. The NARS one is horizontally like their packaging and the e.l.f. one is vertical like their packaging. Similar sort of idea, but I think these are at least different enough in practice. According to the e.l.f. website, this is a satin finish lipstick that delivers all the rich color you're craving in a comfortable formula that lasts. And these are the claims. They say we'll love it because it's comfortable and a long-lasting formula, richly pigmented with a satin finish, a nourishing formula infused with marula oil, squalane, and jojoba esters. It's available in 20 sultry shades and they make a point to shout out their packaging, which I assume is a big part of the reason why these are pricier for e.l.f. They say it has an ultra luxe soft touch texture packaging with magnetic closure. I would agree with all of these claims. These are very pigmented. They're very comfortable. They don't make my lips look or feel dry at all. I don't think they're super long wearing but I don't think that they're disappearing too quickly for my expectations. I don't expect a satin finish lipstick to be transfer resistant at all so I don't mind touching this up a couple times throughout the day. 
Definitely after eating or drinking, I do need to do a little touch up. But again, like I said, I expect that. So I don't think that's really a criticism. This is functioning the way that I thought it would. So now that you've got all the info, let's take a look at the lip swatches of the six shades that I picked up. And then I'll wrap up all my thoughts at the end. Dirty Talk is that classic light pinky nude. I probably have a million colors like this, but I still continue to like them, so no problem for me. Next, we have Effortless. This is definitely more of a rosy, mauve type of shade. Pulls almost berry on me, but if you have any slightly deeper skin tone than me, I think this will look like a just a regular rosy mauve. Next up is Vocal. This is a classic soft coral color, definitely a summer, spring, summer type of color for me. And then Standing Ovation is also corally, but has more of a rosy, almost reddish coral type of undertone. Then we get into the brown-based neutrals. No Doubt is a light beigey brown. I like that the undertone on this one isn't too warm, so I think it looks really flattering on my neutral skin tone. Then lastly, we have Drive, which is a deeper rosy brown type of color. A lot of these lip colors do have that rosy tint to them, which I think makes them particularly flattering on me. So if you like the same sort of lip colors that I go for, then you're probably going to be very comfortable and have a good vibe with a lot of these. I just wanted you to see them all together. That way you could take note of the differences more easily when you can see them all swatched side by side like this on my arm. Okay, now back to my face. Overall, I really like this lipstick. While that $9 price tag initially gave me a little bit of sticker shock just because it's e.l.f., I'm used to, you know, a $3, $5 product from e.l.f. Cosmetics. So I was a little bit taken aback by the $9 price tag, but I do think these are well worth it. The packaging is really luxurious. It seems to hold up well. I've carried one of these around in my bag with me for a few days and I haven't had any issues with the magnetic lid coming off or anything like that. For me, this formula is super comfortable. I love a satin lipstick. I see myself getting a lot of use out of these. They look good, they feel good, they're easy to apply, and they're still under $10. So I wouldn't call this an expensive product by any means. The idea of what's affordable is all relative and it's gonna vary from person to person but in general I do think these are well worth the cost and I would definitely pick up some more of the new shades. I really like all of the shades that I picked up. My personal favorites, the ones that I've worn the most, are this shade called Dirty Talk which is the one I'm wearing throughout the talking portions of this video. I'm also really drawn towards these more brownish neutrals. The lighter one is called No Doubt and the deeper one's called Drive. I actually like mixing those two together. They make this really beautiful medium sort of rosy terracotta color that I really really like but they're both beautiful on their own too. Now's the time when I wanna hear what you think about these lipsticks. Have you tried them? Are you interested in trying them? Which shades are your favorites? Do you think I should pick up some more? They released some more kind of funky colors too, so I might have to test those out. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Uh, ooh, okay. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Lip swatches, yeah. All right, just saying. Elf has been like duping a lot of people lately, haven't they? Didn't they do the roller lash? I feel like they have a bunch of products that they've been kind of giving their own take on, if you know what I mean. Um, what do I say next? Interesting. Okay, okay. This one's probably my least favorite and I still like it. It still looks okay, it's just not, I don't gravitate towards these like corally colors as much. I have so much stuff to do. I am so overwhelmed. <laughs> and, you know, it's fine. Can she do it? We'll find out. The lighter one. Ma'am, can you simmer down? Thank you. Seeing those two. Really? I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh, mama, I got so much editing to do. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. Probably. All right, thanks for hanging out. You are, you're such a 
sweet little peach. You're truly a hidden gem. Um, yeah. Love your face. See you soon. Mm, bye. Mm, bye.